karibuni nyote karibuni wapendwa watazamaji wote katika nafasi yetu ya saizi katika mkutano wetu wa leo ni siku nzuri sana tumekuja kwa kwa ajili ya kupata utamaduni wetu maana utamaduni ni jadi na desturi ya kimila ya ja, familia fulani ama kundi fulani sote tumesonga pamoja kwa ajili ya hiyo katika studio leo ni mimi sister Parina Droma pamoja na mtumishi wa Mungu Prince Midan Haka sote kwa pamoja tunasema karibuni, karibuni. unaweza patana nasi katika wasifu Valentino Dalio Dalanruki you can also find us in the page of Apostle Dalanruki Moses ungana pamoja nasi hewani katika wasifu wa Priestess Sister Felina Vaga. Find us in the page of Baran Karim Networks. Utana nasi katika wasifu wa Priest Gala Van Lodek. You can find us in the page of Bride of the Lamb Ministries International. Unaweza jumuika pamoja nasi katika wasifu wa Baran Karim. You can also find us in the YouTube channel of Dalan Ruke. Pia unaweza jumuika pamoja nasi moja kwa moja katika studio yetu hapa kupitia kiungo tulioweka kwenye wasifu wetu ili uwe mgeni wetu siku ya leo twende moja kwa moja katika tamaduni zetu sisi kama watu wa Mungu unaweza kupatana nasi tunakukaribisha sana sana na kabla hatujaanza ningependa niombe Mungu ili tuendelee yes. Baba mtakatifu baba wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu wetu wa neema Mungu wa ajabu tena Mungu wa ushindi Baba tunaomba hekima tunapoenda kuhudumia watu wako wape usikivu watazamaji wetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba tukiamini Amen, Amen. We thank our God so much today being a Wednesday a special time for our cultural session and that is why we are here to bring to you a culture of different people so stay on I want to reveal what is there for us let's receive a uh, take time so that we may dedicate this service into the hands of our God Asante sana watazamaji wetu chochote tunachofanya mbele za Mungu lazima tumkabidhie Mungu wetu ili Mungu awe pamoja nasi na katika nafasi hii tunaenda kuweka mkutano wetu mikononi mwa Mungu namna alivyoandikwa katika kitabu cha hesabu moja kamili yasema Bwana akanena na Musa katika bara ya Sinai Hemani mwa kukutania siku ya kwanza ya mwezi wa pili katika mwaka wa pili baada ya kutoa kwao nchi ya Misri akamwambia hivi Fanyeni hesabu ya mkutano wote wa wana wa Israeli Mungu alienena na Musa kumwambia afanye hesabu ya wana wa Israeli wote Ndiye Mungu tunayeenda kumkabidhia mkutano wetu mikononi mwake katika nafasi hii. Popote pale ulipo ningependa ni kuongoze nyenyekea tunapoenda kukabidhi mkutano wetu mikononi mwa Mungu ikuinua ukuinua moyo wako juu. Karibu ni nyote. Baba mtakatifu baba wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, wewe ni Mungu wetu wa neema, Mungu wa ajabu tena Mungu wa ushindi. Baba tunakuja kwako kwa ajili ya kuchukua mkutano huu iwe mikononi mwako Mungu wetu. Yes. Tunaomba ukae nasi kwa jina lako la neema. Yes. Kaa nasi ili usitiri mawa yetu yote. Yes. Katika jina lako la ajabu. Kaa nasi ili baba utupe vitu vyote tulivyokosa mbele zako. Yes. Tunaomba ukae nasi kwa jina lako la ushindi yes, ili utushindie ya madui na watesi wetu wote. Yes. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Oh. Kaa nasi na nguvu za kwako. Yes. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Oh. Kaa nasi na uwepo wako baba. Yes. Katika jina na Yesu Kristo oh. tunaomba ukae nasi na utukufu wako yes. baba tunaamini uko nasi katika mkutano wetu wa sasa hivi yes, na ndio maana tunasema ni asante kwa ajili ya kukua kwetu mikononi mwako asante Mungu wetu kwa kukaa nasi mkutanoni tunasema shukrani Mungu wetu wa neema ajabu na ushindi Tunashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya kukubali kukaa nasi katika mkutano wetu na ningeomba ili tupate pumziko kidogo hatimaye tunarudi kwako kwa ajili ya tamaduni yetu Right, I am uh, uh, listening to a very soft tune of Orotu. How do we call Orotu in English? It's, <laughs> it's just, just Orotu. It's just Orotu. <laughs> a one-stringed instrument uh, that is just played by one hand like that. And I am seeing also the photo that is running there of Sister Jesha. Yes. 
carrying the pot. I don't know what is there for us, but we know that she was out in the field to find out what is there for us, uh, good for our sight, good for our ear. And so let us see what Sister Jesha has actually uh, prepared for us in our epic of today of culture. So just prepare yourself and see what Sister has for us. Here are some nice tune coming up. Okay, welcome back again. This is Wednesday special cultural day as usual. I am your host, Sister Barin Yesha. Today I'm in a given place. I have my three beautiful ladies, my great friends. I do praise them, the young girls. As you can see them, I will introduce them to you so that you may have to know them. From my right hand side, oh. I have my grandmother here. Dani wadu ni mundi kono ni ilungi ninga to no nyuli ehi gamani. Marida, yes. Mm-hmm. Onyuli ehi gamani. Marida, yes. She's saying that she's called Mother Perina Befa. She was born in the year 1932. It means that for now, she's now 92 years. To in ilungi ninga. Karina Selka. No one will ever get my picture back. No one. She said that she is called Mother Perina Selka. She was born in the year 1950. For now, she is now 74 years old. To in Dani. Barin Farida. No one will ever get my picture back. She was. She is called Mother Barin Farida. She was born in the year 1935. It means that for now, she is now 89. Years old. As you can see them, the oldest grandmother is the one on my right hand side, and the youngest is uh, the one in between, Mother Perina Selka, who is now 74 years old. So before the two grandmothers, she's the youngest. She's a child before them. So today, today we want just to share on how they were preparing their tri traditional meal. Specifically, Mother Befa will tell us how they were preparing meat. Mother Selka will tell us how they were preparing fish, the various types of fish. And we have Mother Farida, who will tell, her, tell us how they were preparing vegetables and the different vegetables that were found in during their days. 
Okay, now we welcome you so that we may share together with the, our old grandmothers on how they were preparing the different meals. As we start with Mother Befa here, Dani, what do you do in this way? Because you don't have to do it, 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 Okay. She's saying that in their during their traditional days they used to the cattle were just slaughtered, but due to the love that they had in their community, that meat was uh, given to the neighborhood and the remaining meat was preserved and the ways of uh, how they were preserving it is the uh, how she's telling us that uh, the meat was sliced wide open mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, she's saying that uh, uh, after the meat was slaughtered, they used a given knife to slice it. And after slicing it, they were play they were using a, 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 something like a, a grinding stone, which they were using their traditional way to tap it hard. And thereafter, if it has set as they tap it hard, thereafter they air it or expose it in a hot sun so it may get to dry for some days until it becomes dry. And after coming dry, they would fill it in a given pot where they use to preserve it. Kurudani, come. Ringoni no se bambe ma iwacho ma ma otuo kaki wacho niko se tuo to ni tere dark ma ne uloso ma ikane ma ipange ipange nyaka malo ere kaka nuti mo nu mo bidag ni koso nu e no no mundo kiko o kiko kethre ayu mo alo tiki te ikano donge yu mo kata alo tiki te donge yu mo o ma ne mami yone udwani mundo obed mo tuo kabisa ke sku u meka no koto ma beto di mi oto ah ah nyaka kike te mo tuo mo giki ma beto minge ne aleo se tuo kore kika panga le ya dag Okay. Uh, Mother Befa is explaining to us that after that meal is uh, dried until it becomes dry, it shouldn't, it, it shouldn't be wet because, because if it is wet, it can rot somehow when it is preserved in that pot that was dedicated for the preservation of that meat. So it will just be there because it was many for some times. Though it takes long whereby some insects like the weevil can attack. But that was not hindering them from using that meat. So she's saying that even if it takes long and they get the weevils in that meat, they just shake it off and they use that meat as fresh meat as they cook it for their daily use. 
Koro dani, wadwa ni mondo nyiswa ni ka ringoni no se lose kama. Wacha ni luongo ni aleya. Mm. Ko bambe kama ndo kui luongo ni ringa leya. Ringa leya. Yeah. So that kind of meat that is sun dried in luo it is called aleya. Aleya is just a sun dried meat. It is prepared the way she has explained to us. It is called a sun dried meat. So we want her to explain for us how they would prepare that meat before they eat it. Koro ka aleya ni no se ikore kama. Ere kaka ne ukawe makoro utede. Eni yo mane mane utedo godo koro ring aleya ni. Aleya ni koro hiru uwe yoye kendo moz chon. Kese hiru uwe yoye kendo moz. Tiko la lichi ni ti ngade 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 ngade. Tika agulu. Okendo agulu. Kori pange agulu. Kese pange agulu tu kori buko chwake. Kori chwake moz kanyo. Maka yini ki mori moro mani tiyang mani puwe. Ticho doko jiko isari. Kose chie? E, koro chie kukoka. O chie kuko? O chie kukoka. Moz. Kau ni mau mau aiko, mau mau goli aiko, mau pu madian. Kau ni dah ikat eh, kau rujuk aku buat mau sekarang. Kau rujuk punya yusuf kini dia tu tika ucap macam dia, tu tika kita ni maten. Kau rujuk aku cie, aku buat. Kau ni gula le aku cie, macam kuat bayu om, macam dia sonya sonya dia buat dia macam dia camo. Okey, cian dia ni jual. Hey, nuca macam cie bapa metu banade. Ah, she is saying that. After after the preparation of that meat, now they want to cook it. It was just taken, but in, in that traditional days, they were not using the normal fire, firewood. They were using the dry cow dung to prepare that alea. After they placed it in a, in a pot, for, then they boil it for a given period. Then they pour ghee on it. The only cooking oil they could use, could use was ghee. So they pour it, then it is uh, boiling there the whole day. Watch on me, Oknecha Megisechego. No need to eat to king, a king of the Marcio. Alea Tingoli Chuaka Chuaka, King and you will take the good day. Eh, they lost him a bed or check a 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 check so she is explaining for us that after that meat has boiled to the maximum point where it is now soft to be eaten, then uh, they already the ghee had been poured in that meat. Then after it has boiled the whole day, in the evening now they put some fresh milk. They add fresh milk on that alea the sun dried meat and then they just enjoy their meal so that's how they were preparing that meat for their daily use koro mugik dani rech ma nini ringo mar aliani ni chame gi a lot koso en ka ni chame ti chama chama gi kuon lilo nok ket a lot e bathe ka in ga pot ti tedo i chabe o uno nyalo chame gi a lot ya pot oh so she's saying that uh, that uh, meat, it could be eaten by any vegetable that is found on top of it together with ugali and you just enjoy your meal. That is how they were preparing their meat as one of their meals that they were using in their traditional days. Kakane utedo ring alea, kakanu lose mugigo kang makoro utede makoro ochabe. Chiyomo mamit ahenya. Koro wadhi, wabiru kumi madha selka. Wadwa ni mondo ilernu wa kaka ne uloso. Rech, kata aina mag rech mani utiere godo endalo nika wanyo yepo. We want Mother Befa to explain for us that in the year 90s, early 1950s, because she has explained for us that she was born in the year 1950, which fish did she came across when she became of age? Koro Leronika wangino yepo, genrech mage, mane, iyudo kani untire goetu, ereka kane uyudo rech, ne ingeo koso, ne udi, umako rech kiun, 
e nam ere kaka ne uyudo rech kaka ne wayudo rech mm. mama e dala kama nyuola an ka wango neno mm. na yudo ka baba wa mane ada godo mm -hmm. ne jo nyiewo rech e nam moro mane iluongo ni gogo mm -hmm. ni inego rech mar fwane mm -hmm. e mane ngeny rech fwane kata rech mumi e mane gi mako mane gi nego kata mm -hmm. mamba mm -hmm. koro rech ni kano kele ti rech mane kelo mar mar fwane ni ko se kele tikete eh eh joka ne onge karaya kata terafi kete agulu ma nyalaro kama te chwere e chwero kala gakala ne ke jo rech mar fwane ne ni go gakala ne e chwere e chwere ko se chwere maler mo luoke maler ko ki ngade ngade ke singa ke singa ko kane e ka o o yigla ko se mok ma ti kendili are kaja kendo ne kwanyo ogare ogwoyo mosetuo mako gare e kul ka madok ne ninde e kwanyo gare madongo dongo to emi moko go ma chali are kaja gi yen mora chiel koro ko se mok ma ti keto yigla te ka o gimone ne tie no ndwaro mane kete piera gulu mondo kik rech ang moki wang e ka o ndwaro ndi kete piera gulu te ka o pi te ola te ka o chumbi te tuone chuto pi Tiki to pigi ni yenyo kose yenyo tika orech ka epangi kuro onduaro mano kete cha kata rech ok nyal moko ni wang ena ena rech ma ber ma kwang koi chua ka chua ka pi mo kwanga no ka di duono ko di duono tiki cha ke ka opi ma ten te mede tiki cha ke chua ke go tiye le tingi tiki do ko ochiek ma kat rech obiro ma ra buor ma kwar kwar ma ni ngene rech no ochiek. Ti ka o sare, ti itu o mongo kado ni, ti be lo ni tu be chumbu tu ti, ti ka chumbu tu ti 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 ngi mana oko, ero ka man okoro wa nga di mana matin, adu ani mondo inyi so ani ai na mage mage rech, mane sa mo wa ngi no ye po to ni yudo, ne gin rech mar fuane, ningu, o sire, ni luongo sane no chere, e to rech koko be de ni tiere, rech mumi be ne ni tie. Nya karech mar mamba, mboda to biru mechigni, okarech mana neno. Thank you so much. This is Mada Perina Selka explaining for us the how she came, or how she realized the different fish when she became of age. She is saying that during their time when she came of age, his parents. Her parents were going to the lake and they, because there were many fish those days, some fishermen could uh, give them a, a large amount of fish, though they were using a little amount of uh, money, but uh, they had a lot of fish. So she's telling us that uh, they had different, different types of fish, like uh, ngege, the so-called tilapia. We had mumi, which is catfish. We had... Um, Mamba, mamba, which is bar, which is the lung fish. We also had uh, what only fuane, fuane, the so-called barbus at at uh, altiana list. We have ningu, the Gregories. We also have soma, the elephant snotch fish. They also had okoko, the cynodontis. So the different types of uh, fish they had were many. Tokoro mother. Ah, uh, eh, rich man, ne untire godo mangeni. En rich man ne man ne jio erai ni kata kuomi ni wune ehero. Kuma ina mag rich mangeni man untire godo. Rich man ne mit ne jio ni ne rich mar fuane. Eh, man ne jio erai ni ne kich fuane ne no rich man mit kabeza. Eh, kata mumi be ne rich mit. Eh, man ne jio ero. Eh. Koro jino ero gafuane gimumi. Okay. Ah, mada sa is saying that from all those main fish that they had, people really liked the one fish which is called mumi, the catfish, and they also liked fuane, the barbus altialis, altialis, which they really preferred to cook most of the time. Koro karachini no se make. Ibiro kode dala, donge. Ere kaka, kapo kibiro kode dala, idengi orechi. Ere kaka ningeoni rechi ni. 
ongima kata rech ni otou kata ketore ka moro ken o ken rech mangima eh rech ne ke be ngiewe kata ne be ngiewe kata igolo gi ne nitie gimi ma ogi gona osadhi kato olo koro ni elo da ni ti dan de ka yelo to la hane neno ki no ngom mola hane rachar mano rech muketore to ki no ngom mola hane kwar mano rech mangima okay so she's saying that how they would identify that the kind of fish they've gone to bo to buy is fresh or stale is that they open the operculum of uh, the fish then they look at the the gill when the gill of the fish is red is red or reddish it means that that fish is fresh but when it is dark red or somehow whitish it means that that fish is not uh, fresh it is stale it is not fresh to be eaten koro mad ango ma dine dine nyalo miyo rech kech ko mak rech tiyudo ka iyudo ka olahane ok kwar manyiso ni ok en rech mangima ango ma nyalo bedo ni samoro notimore ni rech ni e pi mamiyo ko wuok to wuok ka ok en rech mangima ka ne rech mochi golo kata chik go gimi luongo no sadhi no no moko chon moro ichiko osadhi sa par teno moko sa par to sadhi kinyi ili mo sa kato kinyi kata sa aparu tino kidhi limo te yudo eno moko chon oseketre ose bodo kanyo ma piyo oweye modo pilo ngon ni piyo Let me pure wheel. Mm-hmm. Eh, I don't want to pure wheel, okay? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Eh, mm-hmm. Eh, okay. 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 Eh, then it was caught at that moment and it will be there up to tomorrow morning when fishermen fishermen will now come to catch them that will make it now to be stale because it has taken too too long in water so that's what actually makes it not to be fresh as the other ones that are caught towards the morning hour Korkare ise mak ise lero no kaka wanya long ni rech ngima ka rech moro ketori ere kaka nu loso rech ni mangi man mo mangi ma to mangi o rech mangi idu tedi ko mo ketori e gi ngeny to mo kitedo to mo ko dong a a mana midwa loso midwa tedo ni mo dwa midwa tedo ni dong ge ko rech mar mar ningu te loke loka mi lok nya ko la hane cha mi gol nya ka kedno mi ngu ni ki kedno i ko lok kedno ei ka ki go lok kedno mi go lo to ka te yang be e e baro chu nya ka ti wo do kedno ke ei e to ma mo ko ma mo ko ka 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 re ma ma do ngo go do be yu do kete go go lo ko ge ge nya be ne ma ne ye ni go lo ko e we na ina ma ne ma re ch mu te do ge kede no ko so re ch te ite ni kede no me te do ge kede no mi no ngon mi ka te be do ma me te en re ch ma nge ge to ma mo ko go ki keto kede no ma mo ko ki to o ku wi njira nya ka ka re ch nge ge nge ge e ma bo ta nya ma ka kede no go to ri nge ri nge ok me te ka te ok me te bo bo Ero kamano. Uh, Mother Befa is saying, Mother Selka is saying that uh, uh, how they, the procedure they were using uh, when they are preparing that uh, fish is that uh, after it has been taken home, then they scale off that fish. Thereafter, they remove the bowels from the fish, including the bile. But she's explaining that most of the types of fish are not cooked with the bile especially tilapia because tilapia is uh, is tasteless that's the only fish that they always cook with the bile to make it a little bit bitter mondo bed ma kete ma kete mo ma meat ko so meat ma kem kem kete meat oh so it means that that bile makes that tilapia to be a little bit sweeter than the other ones
Koro wasegolo nyai nyai rech donge ndesego aya nyaka kedno cha kedne golo oko eh Eric kaka ne upogo rech kidwid rech mani upogi ene kita kita rech mani pogo en kaka mumi ingade kisinja 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 kata rech mar mamba kata rech mar mar ginen fuani fuani Mm -hmm. Ningado kisina kisina miki chu uduong uriere kama kwa ke e kenge 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 ninguto tindo ninguto mm. tindo oh. eni kita kita okay. gire chumar ngege mm -hmm. emani emi ngado niki ngege nyalo bedo maduong mak nyal kita kita fall mm -hmm. yeah. okay so she's saying that uh, after the, after fish has, has been removed the bowels together with the intestines from the fish then some fish types were subdivided into pieces but some others were not divided like uh, the so-called ningu the gregory's labeo it is small so it could be divided but the other ones like tilapia the you the, the snot fish the lung fish the other ones are subdivided into pieces so that it can boil very well in the pot. Ero kamano dani koro wase poge wase pogo rechwa wase chwere kise chwere ene ere sami nwoke ilwa uyo beni luoko rechya samane ipoge kigolonya yeta sami were kigolonya yeta ipoge epi koso kaka etulo mane ma ilwoke rechi ni nika pukitele sami chwere cha kise Kia kotipi to biti chwere kise tiko chwere koki ngade koki kenge pogi 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 eh so she is saying that the moment which uh, where we should wash fish they were washing fish at the moment when they are scaling off those scales of the of, of fish because maybe they were hard so they put it in water to soften the scales to bring is during the scaling off of that that fish thereafter they subdivide it and after subdividing it they wash it again before putting it in the pot to boil up koro ise pogore ini ise luoke ni se poge ikete e tray e chwer donge igole tidhi nyume ere kaka kitere kendo en yo mane nitiyo godo kidhi kete kendo ikete pi mang'ich koso ere kaka yani ni seket sami luoke ni to pi seket kendo oh kise kise luoke mi sekenge kenge ikete odheru nikech chon ne odhe odheru mi kete o chu o chwer pige ka akume kise kete odheru ka koro pige ose yenyo tikayo odheru kacha tipange kendo kendo ni to igla Gondware pira gulu kore kayo deru kacha te pange gulu pange gulu kise kero ti iume to chie ango mo mi unike to ndwaro e bo e nini piny mara gulu ka poki keto rech ondwaro ni ne konya ondwaro ne konyo rech ni rech ok nyalo wang gi penda gulu e koro oche ka cheka makata mugi penja ok moke e pira gulu o o bera bera ondwaro chori to rech ma moke pira gulu so during the preparation of fish, uh, already she had lit fire, of which she's saying that the kind, how they were preparing fires, that they were using the dry cow dung with the one firewood, and uh, they placed the pot on fire and water, boiling water. So that fish is just placed when that water has already boiled. They were not placing, they were not putting it in cold water. So it was put in the pot after that water has boiled up. Koro sama ise tere epi mane ose tuwakcha. Mondo chak chiek. Seche goi mi kete chumbi. Koso chumbi yangi keto kang shemo seche. Chumbi na keto gipi chuto. Pigisha yenyo tuto chumbi niya iye. Kani keto recho chiek. Niko se chiek koki tuwa ni chumbi. Recho no di chiek mabot. Kori iketo piki cha berugi chumbi chot. Ma ki keto recho chumbi donje e recho kuro ang met. Ma ok no no bot. Kere kaka nupi mupi pi recho. Kere kaka ningyo ni pigi ni oromo chua ko raya raya ni. Kata mai tu koro tenu wa dechino ang na mele. Pi inyalo tuwa mo gagwata ni chon neongo kombi. Ika wa gwata kona 
agwata ne kala chiel ginus to romo chiego to kocha koduono tachaka tuomo gagwata maromo kama tamedo mayime matin to chako chiego kapigno duono tangeni kukoro chiek eh be nitiere rech moro mane dwaro ga pi mangeny mopogore gi mamoko koso giduto tene ipima pima pi kose gi kwi rech tingeo ni mano romo chiego ne gipogore nikech rech mamba ne chiek ne tek rech mamba ne budhi kendo en o chiek inyalo medo ne kata pi kata dingwen nikech ne dwano chiek maber mo chiek mo mo chiny nikech ringe cha be tek koro chwakre mo chiek mo chiek maber okay pero kamano so she's saying that after that fish is placed in the pot, during uh, the, the time when water was boiling, they put salt in that water. So that when, when uh, that fish is boiling up, it, it, it boils with that salt on it. Because when they put salt later, then that fish will be tasteless. And she's saying that how they were measuring water for cooking fish is that in case that water comes above fish that water will automatically make that fish to boil up to an extent that it is now ripe to be eaten but there are some types of fish that takes long in uh, while boiling up like uh, the lung fish lung fish takes long so she's saying that water is placed above it but it must be added later because it takes long before it ripes up koro ka Chumbwani, osai chwa kore, kaki wacho pimanu waketo ne, oromo, chumbi ni keto. Ere kaki dinge oni chumbi ni koro otuch, koso kotuch. E bilo re, kosi bilo soup. Ere kaki bilo soup no? A bilo soup ne kete, akao sari, cho nuji kongi. Akao sari, kato lut kun maten, mara lot mo, ma opa. To atuwa mgo kwa kado kama ta ole chunyo ta ta bela winyo ni chumbu tuche eh mana ngeni chumbi no romo sare ni nena ngo ede kaka ni lose ni lose gi loko nga sare ni nok lose sare ni 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 kawe ti nam makubor gi nam ti tere chiro inyalo yude chiro ko chunge te ingiewe enam ka enga enga enge nge nyang oh en nge nyang okay she said that how 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 they were te, 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 testing when the salt is enough in their fish is that they use something called sare she has said that sare is just a, just a crocodile scale it was bought but uh, some people could find it in the seashore so they take a little bit of uh, we say soup, soup, don't get soup bread. Mm. The soup of uh, fish, the, that stew of fish with that uh, crocodile scale, then they taste when. That um, salt is enough or not. If, if not enough, then they add a little bit of salt. A window can you dine? Koro rech ose chiek ibilo ibilo chumbi mi winjo ni oromo to rech ere kaki dingyo ni kai kero koro chiek koso pige cha ima kose dok chien dingyo ni kaka pige ni koro gikin rech ni koro chiek. Ne ngiyo pige kaka kwa soup chalo o chiek maber marabur maber mok malew o chiek marabur mupoto maber mano ngisi no chiek rech be kielo ten wanko chiek ma ma chalo gimo o o Pine kau enyer, kau enyer, kau enyer. Mana ngi sini rest no check mau baru re. Okay. So she's saying that how she could identify that that fish is now ready to be eaten is that that stew would turn brown and thick, but when it is still dilute and colorless, it means that that fish has not has not boiled up very well and it is not ready. to be eaten. So they were looking at the, the, the color of uh, that, that stew and how the
thickness of it and that is what makes them to identify that this fish is now ready to be eaten. Hey, Aworo. Koro, Rechwani. Osechiek. Ere kaka ne upoge. Ere kaka ne upogo Rechni. Gin kuwode mage mi mi ojodongo. Kuwode mage mag Rech manye tendo chamo. Kuwode mag Rech mane mamoni chamo. Ere kaka ne upogo Rech. Kaka Rech mar ngege. Kwa wichu. Gikure. Ne mi ojodongo. To kwa yiwe, gimaluwa yiwe na. To nyetendo gimine ge. To kwa Rech mar fwane. To beka u. We fwane gikore, eme miyo jodongo. Nama nye chwa mwun pacho. Ango mwune luti mwaka mwa nentire chiko, so manu nyiso mana luor, mayu luor ogodo jodongo. Manu luor, mano miye ni kech, kwa wirech, kaka wirech, mana mngege. En mo, en gi bor mngeni, en be, en mo meti, kata we fwane, en mo meti. Kwa mwado gikore, eme toko. Now we are hearing how they were serving food fish is now ready how to serve it she's saying that uh, for instance if they were picking they they say they were uh, cooking the tilapia fish then they subdivide it into three parts and the head together with the middle part is given to the elderly, let's say the men, and uh, that uh, tail is what women, together with the children, were eating. But she say, she she's saying that it was not a rule, but just to show respect or honor men. That's why they were given head together with the middle part to show that they respect men. mother, <laughs> Utedo rech. Koro rech ni kise po. Mi pogo. Fuoni madhi kuwa. Madhi kuwa ma. Joma chuo. Gima dongne. Nyetendo. Gima mine. Chamo gi. Ena ngoma ne ukete. Ka utere koro kidi. Kidi chano. Neni tie tao. Manu chue gilu. Kama. Tao no. Ema ne itoki. Itoki rech. Temi ole kano, tadita mchwe mchwe golando, adita mchwe go golando, machalo dero cha, to en ena data o o o o lugha kaka gulu kama, emi te di kuwe, kuro tau mchwe gilo mok machalo kaka gulu ni, emi toke red, emi te ro ne ya machuo, ilo kuno suaro, ilo kuno suaro, okay. So she's saying that after the food is ready, they just uh, put it. They, 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 didn't, they didn't have plates, but there are some things that were made that they used in placing fish together with ugali to be eaten. Nuti yoga lot kucha morai kuso kicha morai kicha macha morai chini no kikuwe. Kasa man nerai chini to rai chini no emi cha mokeme. Okcha ma lot kikuwe. Ah ah. Kicha macha morai chini. When they were eating fish, they were not adding vegetables as the side dish, but they used to eat it just fish together with ugali. Again, only protein on rich, no? If you get on a rich man, get what one it is, no rich cowon. If it is on a rich man, rich my old cat and gag. If it is on one gag, she's promising us that she wants to cook for us tilapia fish today in a traditional way koro kamoro we are no will go doki nyalo ye munda penji rech ni samane otu wakama nu shiele koso ango mani mele kechkidi tedo nwa ni chiele ga koso no chwaka chwaka kama ano tuole mtie mwa odi ama ni kete koso ni timona rech manumu ne chwaka chwaka mabere onge gima ni kete ne jire no ne nyanya no ne poko biro kitungu ne onge mo mane nitie ne mana mor dhiang mupuye ko mo mo nyaluo nyabiro gi mo mo len mo mo len ni kete rech motuo kai mitedo to manu mute chwaka chwaka rech mamba ne nyalo kitedo mamba kata manu to ne nyalo kete mo
to mamoko go ti chwaka chwaka lilo to chwaka lilo mana ka ni kete chumbi cha to tewa moe moro ni mu chamego eh o chika chika kanyo okay they were not putting any oil in fish except the dry fish that was boiled is what they can put a little bit of ghee on it but uh, fresh one they just boil it up and it produces its own oil and it was just eaten that way they didn't add anything on it and uh, she has promised that she wants to prepare for us fish today so don't go away this is a very good session for you so that we eat the traditional foods today koro an kuom mother farida what do you want to learn one it to ere kaka unu loso alode alode mage mane untiere godo chon to ere kaka ne u loso gi kapoko cham Lot Okay. So she, uh, Mother Farida is explaining for us the, the different kinds, kinds of vegetables that they had during their days. She is saying that mostly she saw three types of vegetables, the jutemalo, jutemalo or the so-called mrenda, the slimy, slippery vegetable. And uh, another one, uh, the spider plant or uh, the saga, they call it deck. They also had cowpeas. And she's saying that during their time, that, uh, that uh, kind of vegetable, after it is plucked from the garden, they were not cutting it. Okay. So she's saying that there were not there were no knives 
to be used for cutting the different vegetables. But uh, vegetable like uh, cow peas, they could just use their hand to subdivide it, maybe to three or two pieces. Then it is placed that way in the pot to boil up. Koro dani aloni kane osa ngole kama mukete koro ochwa kore. Ni yolo negi gapi koso negi chwa kere gapi pigbi. Ni yolo negi pigbi. Ni yolo negi pigbi. Oh, mor mangi ni koso mana mati. Ama moro amu mengi ni brochi yake. Mhm. Eh, alato kwenye dina kala tu mayo mugo kwenye mene negi pigbi. Mhm. Ni yolo negi pigbi moro amu ma maga koro chia. Mhm. To oramu tiyo kumani dwa kuka ni dwa tiyo. Mhm. Tani chama sisi yego koso kuonge kwa. Ni tia alato ma kuchama sisi yego. Mhm. Sama sama na ongwe tini. Kau kau guna nak kalau dia mana nyucuk muda dua rum, terus dia orang muda mohon. Kalau mana nyucuk ni orang muda ni emak polis jamu, mana bini kau polis teri kau, ni kau pergi cak. Okay. They had different types of vegetables and they were not cooking one type of vegetable at a time. They could uh, leave it when uh, the other one is ready to be used, they prepare another one. But it would take long, they would warm after it is, it is ready, then they would warm it every day, adding a little milk every day, maybe up to a duration of one week is when they say that it is now ready to be eaten. So they were preparing different types of vegetable at a time, not just one and prepare to be eaten at that moment. They were not that way kora lo de gitedani ni kuogo giga gichak koso ni tere mamoko mane okolega chaka lo dete ni kuogo gichak eh a lot mulu na lot na na ka ka chaka mi yole mhm eh chak na me yole to mo mabu mhm eh ka dek ti ti chak ko mo mabu mhm mo mabu no ma tene mo mano o chukina ne o pueko mano o o o Ogole okete eta amaro kolo sami chwa kala de mo chwa kala de adi awela mo cha adi arele mama bona kolo mo ne mane ne ne mo lo kchielega chwa kya chwa kya ne mama bona ne ne cha ne mo dia ngoso gitu ne mo dia ne mo dia ne mi pueko eh kolo lo ngeli mama bona sawa so she is saying that while they were preparing that. That vegetable, they warm it with milk every day and they were adding a little bit of ghee on it so that it may be sweet. And after a week, they would take it ready to be used. Kuro mogik dani, ka lodni, osei kore, kaka oikreni, enango mane uti yogo doka utoke ne kechiwacho nine uonge gige toko. Ango mane utoke gore. Ito oke tao. Tao no en en gimo shue. Mo mo kagulu, bang eh, iwang eh, osa iwang eh, kulo entau, entau masa mesti gini ti loka loka eh, ti toke, tau ni mana macam toke ni orang bakul ni. Anggup mana macam ada gua kuat lagi. Oh, gini ni. Sare. Sare mana macam ada gua. Oh. Ini kau ni orang. Ada kau mana? Ah, so they after that vegetable. Is now ready to be used. They would use sare. They call it sare in lieu the crocodile scale to take it. But they were they they did not have uh, uh, the dishes to be used in serving that food. They used something a basket like there were some things that were made like basket with the reeds. So that is what they used to to serve that kind those different kinds of vegetables as they were eating thank you so much our viewers for being with us i'm very blessed today i had my three guests who are now teaching us how they were cooking in their traditional way for now let us just have a short break as we prepare ourselves to go and cook fish mother selka wants to cook for us fish the tilapia fish today so don't go away thank you for tuning in we will be back after a short while
tilapia <laughs> fish and how we want to prepare it first we have our our pot here it is called in luo oigla it is a pot specifically for cooking fish we have our fish here the tilapia fish and before they said that uh, when they are preparing fish water should be boiling so they want to prepare for us onduaro they call it onduaro it is just something that is just prepared of reeds and it is placed beneath the pot so that uh, fish cannot get stuck so they want to prepare for us onduaro so that we put it down in the pot then we pour water to boil while we are preparing our fish koro danilo snuaro onduaro mondo waketi eka bange watere kendo samatwa tuchwaro nwarech don koro ngamalo sonwa mother best mother farina so that's how we prepare the reeds It is just cut into pieces Oi baro ye Ngo bedo gini a place in the pot
water in the pot, we've already placed the reeds so that our fish cannot, cannot get stuck on the bottom of this pot. All. Okay. So let's just have a look on the amount of water that we should use while we are we want to cook our fish. They are saying that now the amount of water that we place in the pot is enough to cook the three fish that we have. Here, so she's putting salt. Please, let's have a look on how the reeds are in this pot and how they want to put salt. Okay, Koroket Nuachumbi. Sawa. Koro Maya, Kako Sebedo, Nikoro Watere Kind, Monobio Chuakre, Kawaloso, Reg. So we now want to take this pot. We want to go and boil this water while we are preparing our fish. Thereafter, we will put the fish in the water now to boil up. So let's have a short break. Then we'll prepare our fish. Okay, we now have fish. We have got our fish, mother. Farida has her fish, Mother Selka too has the fish, together with Mother Befa. They are now scaling off the fish. And uh, they have uh, looked at the gills. They say that the gills are red as a sign that our fish is fresh. Now they are scaling it off. And they say that while it is being scaled, they touch it from the head of the fish for the east. Okay, now let's just have a look on how they are doing it. They are remo removing the scales from the fish. Uh, they are confirming for us that the fish we have is fresh because as you can see the gills are very red as a sign that the fish is fresh. They are not stale. So we want to cook a fresh fish today.
Mother Selka is saying that she'll prepare for us fish today with the bile, so she will, she'll return it in fish as she will be cooking for us tilapia today. So let's just observe how they are removing the intestines and the bones from the fish. Is it your swear? What is that cutting? Koro cut a cookie macon. Now let's have our water which they use to wash. Sorry, 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 sorry.
ako din lang. Okay, we are now washing our fish for the second time with the clean water. We are now washing it for the third time just for hygiene. Our mother Selka here is helping us. She's the youngest. <laughs> she's a child, I mean it's the two. So she's the one who is working more because she's energetic. We are washing it for the third time. So just be with us. Okay, we now have our fish here, and we are taking it to the pot to boil, so that our fish can be ready to be eaten. So just come with us. You can see we are now on our Jiko, the three legs.
Thank you very much. Wow, Sister Jesha Barin. Hey, asante sana kwa kazi jasho uliofanya kwa ajili ya kupata elimu uh, kwa namna ya upishi. Kwetu sisi watu waliozaliwa juzi twasema hivyo sababu waliozaliwa kitambo wanatuambia namna ya upishi tunaona wow, hiyo hatujawahi fanya. Mm -hmm. ni jadi na desturi ya kimila ya wajaluo kwa namna ya upishi. Tunasema asante sana kwa Mother Barin. Pa, pa Farida pamoja na Mother Parina Selka together with Mother Befa tunasema asanteni sana kwa ajili ya elimu mliotupa kwa upishi ya samaki ya sato kwa Kiswahili wase wa Kiswahili mm. wanaita samaki sato. ya sato, sato. Mhm mm mtawa chingege karibuni sana tulikuwa tunajua tunafika kwa namna wakati wa kukula jamani hapo kwani midanu umetoa ndio nilikuwa nasubiri sana sana maana <laughs> tulikuwa tunasubiri kula na su... samaki hiyo kitu imekatika hapana kwa ajili ya muda usiotupa nafasi natupa kisogo muda wetu hajaturuhusu tuendelee jamani inatubidi tuache na hapo kilicho na mwanzo kina mwisho wake kwa ni midan kwa ajili ya kutuandalia nafasi hii tunasema shukrani maliza nasi thank you very much we'll be coming for the next episode where they will put now that fish on the pot and the eating part i'll have to be there <laughs> i cannot sit in studio and things are going well in the field so thank you very much imagine we are coming back at 9 p.m on top of the hour for our question and answer session with preceptor priest baran karim so we are taking this short break and after taking swallowing something in your stomach come back for now we say goodbye, goodbye.